Hey guys, MC here, and I finally saw Wrecker Ralph 2 Ralph Breaks the Internet. And uh, I needed a night to mull things over to kind of compare it to the original. The original was a very basic plot about a guy wanting more in life, wanting to become a good guy and get a medal. Ralph and Vanellope, yeah, they had a cute friendship dynamic. Both were fun and interesting. Uh, the nostalgia of all the video game characters was a nice touch. Never felt forced. You know, they felt organic to the story. And overall, the film had its own charm and worked well enough that even though it wasn't great, I had a fun ride. Thus, we come to the topic of the sequel, which uh, I'm sorry to say does not live up to the first one. There's numerous little nuances, little problems that really hold it back. Like the story itself has no flow. It's just, hey, we need to get this MacGuffin to find this person and accomplish this goal and blah, blah, blah. The quote unquote plot is Ralph inadvertently is responsible for breaking Vanellope's game Sugar Rush and they need to buy a new steering wheel from eBay or eBoy or whatever you want to call it, or the game will be shut down forever. So the duo make their epic travel to the internet, and uh, yeah. First problem is Fix-It Felix and Calhoun are just kind of forgotten for a couple side gags here and there in beginning and end, and you know, they had some great lines and interactions in the first movie, and now they've just been sidelined. What to talk about next, uh, so the internet itself in the movie is just underutilized. You know in the trailer, the bit with Ralph eating the pancakes of the bunny and it explodes? That was funny. I thought that's what the movie was gonna be like. Ralph and Vanellope just going through and getting into various shenanigans. You know, visiting all these websites and doing and just making the mess of stuff. But no, the uh, websites are just kind of there in the background or very just bland in the foreground. I, loved, I would have loved to see more of these places, but no, they're just the equivalent of office buildings. It's just boring. Anyway, they go to eBay and they overbid like crazy, which is not how eBay works at all, but whatever, we need to get the plot rolling. And they get, they gotta get $27,000 for the steering wheel in three days doing various get rich quip um, viral videos and stuff. So all the while we're dealing with Ralph's insecurities of losing his best friend. That one statement took me seconds to say. That's literally the whole movie and you get burned out on that about halfway through. And Vanellope's situation is to move on and expand on her horizons and it's Disney princess syndrome and yeah, they play it up for laughs at some points, like when she visits all the other princesses, which admittedly has some good moments. This poking fun of the concept of the princess, Disney princess thing is feels dated, as honestly Frozen did it much better and I don't know, Vanellope's journey just feels like she's just going through the motions. I, it was just really hard to connect and all that stuff. Uh, it's really hard to describe. I... Speaking of humor, the writing didn't feel as sharp as the first one either. While there were some gags here and there I chuckled at, there were only a couple times that I actually laughed out loud, and probably now that I think about it, weren't even that funny to begin with. I don't mind an anime story playing a dark situation for real going dark. I mean, these characters, they're gonna be homeless, and you know, that, that that's a real dire situation. But when you get a loudmouth gigantor and hyper glitch girl in a situation, I expect a lot more humorous situations. All all the memes and internet pop culture references that are seen like uh, what was it the screaming goat and you know these hot pepper chili challenge or pepper ghost pepper challenges and whatnot they they just feel dated I don't know there's really nothing I can really say about that is that, is that most of these most of those references they really just fall flat Eventually, they learn they can make money through video games, and they make their way through a game called Slaughter Race, which I think is supposed to be a parody of Death Race, but whatever. And they have to steal a car belonging to a character named Shank, and this is another systemic problem. A supporting cast is pretty much forgettable. Shank is a badass driver, and that's about it. Yeah, she gives some advice to Vanellope, and she, she's really just there to move the plot along. They are directed to another person named Yes, and she's kind of an eccentric control freak and, you know, reviewing all of BuzzTube's videos, and that's about it for her character, and 
Again, this is the problem with the story flow. Hey, let's go to Death Race and steal a car. Oh, hey, that didn't work. But hey, we are told someone else named Yes can help. And we just go from one, and we just jump from one thing to another, and we kind of almost forget about the whole steering wheel plot. Um, I mean, I know it's in the background, but yeah, the story has no focus. Yeah, the money quest is in the background, but it gets lost by Ralph and Vanellope's problems in a kind of endless loop. It's like, their problems never progress. It just feels like it's, we're just caught in an endless loop. Insecurities and wanting to move on and stuff like that. I just feel unimpressed and honestly kind of bored. And then the climax, Ralph releases a virus and the internet crashes. And finally we get to the titular title of the movie and there, there's a big old giant army of Ralphs running amok and admittedly I, I gotta say it is one of the better parts of the movie it's not saying much the animation during the chase scene is good but the resolution kind of falls flat because again we're talking about a guy who nearly destroyed the internet causing businesses around the world you know Amazon, Google, and whatnot, thousands of dollars in delays and, you know, wasting and wasting thousands of other people's time, but hey, it's okay because Ralph felt scared of losing a friend and wanted to keep her forever, so everything's okie dokie. I want to keep this kind of short, I didn't want to go too much into this, but do I really need to say anything else? This is probably one of the most disappointing movies of the year. I wasn't expecting a grandiose adventure, but the critics are giving it near universal acclaim, which the movie doesn't deserve at all. Is it a bad movie? No, but it's definitely an uninspired mess, and I think it's just going to be a forgettable product in the Disney lineup. Yes, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Until next time, MC out.